It is day seven of Dr. Morse's Monkey Diet Challenge, friends. I just want you to take a quick second to celebrate all of the amazing hard work that you have been putting in this week. Can you believe that we're already halfway through this challenge? Let me know in the comments down below how you're feeling on your monkey diet challenge. Are you liking the raw food? Have you experienced a healing crisis yet? Are you already a seasoned vet? Do you have tips and tricks that you could share with the rest of the group to help them along their journeys? We can all learn together, friends, so let's keep going. All right, quick update on today, and then we will get into today's topic, which is arthritis and all things related to inflammatory conditions of our joints. Update on today. Um, it's what? It's midnight right now, pushing 1230, and I literally <laughs> just changed out of one set of PJs into another set of PJs. <laughs> so if that gives you any idea how today has gone, that's that's been my day. I've had such low energy, no um, intense physical symptoms still. I'm very grateful for the lack of breast pain. I'm very grateful for better digestion. My skin is clearing up. The grapes that I had gotten yesterday were unfortunately a little bit underripe and it's been hit or miss lately. It probably is a little bit too early in my area for some really good grapes. But hey, when you're feeling a calling for doing a good grape fast, don't question it, just jump on it. And then if you have to tweak as you go in the middle of that protocol, that's fine. There's all kinds of raw fruits and vegetables out there and different types of fasting protocols that can help you along your journey. So if the grapes aren't cutting it right now, especially because of the quality of the fruit, uh, don't fret about it, guys. No big deal. Sorry guys, I had to wait for a train to pass, but perfect opportunity to segue into today's topic, arthritis and all things related to inflammatory conditions of our joints. So there are a few things to note when we are talking about these inflammatory joint conditions. We're looking at mainly the adrenals, the kidneys, and the lymph. So let's break that down a little bit more to understand these painful conditions of the body and how we can turn those around. When we're looking at arthritis in particular, we are looking at the action of the adrenals. And um, when we start to see this inflammation build up in our joints, we know that there is acidic waste, lymphatic waste, cell waste that is building up in these areas. What do we also know about waste? We know that waste is acidic and that acids burn through moisture and that the body uses calcium, cholesterol, and water to buffer acidity. And unfortunately, uh, when we especially have grown up with such a high protein diet, friends, this is the main culprit. We see um, arthritic conditions in many people that have a high protein diet. And that is because proteins, unfortunately, are acidic to the body. Our bodies need amino acids to build new proteins. And proteins are just made up of right amino acids. So our bodies really need the amino acids in order to produce new proteins for protein synthesis. And what happens is we ingest these proteins, we digest the proteins, and there is a nitrogen compound that breaks free from the amino acids. And this nitrogen compound is very acidic and it hits the kidneys hard. So when we're looking at arthritis, we're looking at not only the adrenals and how well they are telling the kidneys to filter. We're looking at the kidneys, obviously, and how well the kidneys are filtering out that lymphatic waste. Are we staying hydrated enough to break up hardened lymph in these areas? Are we moving the lymph in order to carry that dehydrated lymph away? Are the kidneys filtering in order to get the waste out and push it out through the urine. So we're looking at adrenals and kidneys and of course, always and always lymph. Again, friends, our bodies are just a bunch of cells, trillions of cells, and every single cell has to eat and excrete waste every single day. And when we become dehydrated from an over acidic condition of the body, our fluids dry out. They become sluggish. They stop moving so well. We start to see all kinds of issues come up. 
clotting issues, stone formations. We see the pain, the swelling, water retention. Why would we have water retention in an area? Well, if an area has a lot of waste in it, we know that waste is acidic, the body is going to try to bring extra water to that area to help buffer that acidity. If we start to see calcium deposits in our joints, then we can also look at calcium utilization, which points to the parathyroid glands, and we have to look at that. But really, what more or less is happening with the calcium utilization is, remember, the, the body uses calcium to help buffer acidity so that the body will literally pull calcium from its own tissues in order to buffer that acidity. So calcium is pulled into the, the area as well as water. But if the acids aren't moving out, if you're not properly hydrating, if you're not moving your lymph, what's happening in this area? Acids are here. They're burning through water. Water comes into the area. Acids are still eating through that water. Body is pulling in some calcium and water. Uh-oh, what's happening? Why are we seeing this calcium deposit? Because the acids are still burning through that water, but the calcium keeps coming in to help buffer things. So we're starting to see a buildup of calcium deposits because these acids are not moving out of the area. To help reverse these inflammatory conditions of the joints, friends, I urge you to step away from the high protein diets. High protein, unfortunately, is very acidic. And we know that acids burn through moisture, that the body will leach calcium, that the body will create more cholesterol in order to buffer against this acidity. And as this level of acidosis builds in the body, we will start to see more inflammatory conditions in more parts of the body, which is why we often see arthritis and other inflammatory conditions in not just one joint, but many joints because the acidic environment that exists in this area to create calcium deposits and pain, that acidic condition exists everywhere. We may just manifest physical symptoms in this area first because of uh, genetic history, because of daily wear and tear. It is important to open up our pathways of elimination to make sure that our bodies are properly getting rid of not just digestive waste, but lymphatic waste. It is this lymphatic waste that builds up over time that is the real culprit of our pain, our inflammation, and our misery. So let's lean heavily on raw fruits and vegetables, particularly the fruits, because they have such raw electrical energy, much more energy to give our bodies than vegetables, than any other food. They are superior in hydration. They are incredibly alkalizing to the body and they are astringent, whereas vegetables are not. Vegetables will get you to a certain point in your cleansing and strengthening, but eventually you will plateau and you will have to move it up to the fruits to get more energy and to get that astringency or that pull on the lymphatic system. So friends, let me know if you have questions, even more questions, if you want more clarification on this, I'm more than happy to dive into this conversation even more for you. But to recap, we're going to strengthen the adrenals. We wanna make sure that our kidneys are filtering and we want and need to make sure that we are hydrating and moving our lymph. So increase your raw fruit intake and move that lymph. Get a little bit of simple movement in every day. Make sure you stay hydrated. Keep your thoughts happy and positive because our emotions also very much affect our physical health. So on that note, friends, I hope you guys have a beautiful night and I will see you tomorrow for day eight.